Today, I get the pleasure of sitting down with an old buddy, Casey Mears. Casey, good to see you. Yeah, happy to be here. You know this about me. Huge fan of, of Rick, your uncle, and your dad was an amazing race car driver as well. I'm just curious, what was it like, you know, growing up in the Mears family and maybe your first memory of racing as a kid? Man, it's tough. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it and I felt very fortunate to be a part of a racing family. You know, a lot of people question as to, you know, was there undue pressure because you grew up in a racing family as you were coming up? And I just always looked at it as a huge support system. You know, I had two really experienced guys to pull from, you know, watching my, my uncle at the Indy 500 and, you know, getting to grow up watching my dad off-road race, be at the Baja 1000, win championships. Those guys always made it easy for me because they knew that there was a pressure that came with the name. And they always said, don't worry about that. And they're always there to help and give advice. And I knew that I didn't have pressure at home. So it made it easy to, you know, just lean on those guys, get some really good advice and, and go racing and not worry about the rest. Do you remember that first memory of getting behind the wheel of a race car or seeing a race car for the first time and saying, yes, I want to do that one day? Yeah, you know, my dad was really good at putting me in early, you know, at a young age. And when he had his own off-road team and his own off-road shop, when I was 11 or 12 years old, he let me drive the truck and a test track behind the back getting to get some experience with a car that had, you know, big horsepower, you know that, you know, you got to drive some big horsepower cars early. Mm -hmm. And that really, I think, benefited me as I was coming up through the ranks because the horsepower thing didn't scare me. You know, I already drove cars with big horsepower. So it wasn't about learning the horsepower or learning the car. It was about, you know, learning that particular technique of what kind of series I was in at that time. So let's talk about the off-road uh, background. I mean, your dad, Roger, won the Baja 1000, I think, four times. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have memories of, of you know, him racing in Baja and him winning those races? I mean, I know you were pretty young. I have a lot of good memories of the off-road stuff, Vegas, uh, Barstow, even Mexico and Baja, but I was pretty young when he was doing those races. But I remember my dad had his own team, right? He first raced for Mike Moore, you know, early on that I remember when I was two and three years old. You know, he was racing that iconic Budweiser truck that was just insane. But then as he progressed, he progressed into his own team. So I was a part of it. I mean, the race team was in the backyard. So as he was going through all those things and winning those races and winning those championships, I could literally walk out my back door into the backyard and go hang out with the guys and hang out with the trucks. So, <laughs> That's so cool. Um, yeah, you know, I got so many good memories of, of all that growing up. Speaking of Baja and the Baja 1000, you've got some exciting news to share. Yeah, I'm super excited. Uh, I'm going to be racing the Exalted truck for Geyser Bros, which is one of the best top performing uh, trucks that are built out there right now. So to get that opportunity is just huge. And for more reasons than one, to, to, to watch and be a part of my dad, you know, doing this over the years, to actually go down and race the Baja 1000 in the Premier Series in the Trophy Truck class is really a dream come true. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I think, you know, being in NASCAR for so long, you know what the schedule's like. It's so hectic. It's so busy. It doesn't leave room to do some of these other things. And now being on the back side of that to be able to go do what my dad did in a class that my dad did it in, it's a dream come true, really. I was a little surprised because I knew about your off-road background. Um, and I know how much you love getting out into the desert and, and getting into the dunes, that you'd never raced the Baja 1000 before. So, I mean, what's this experience going to be like? Uh, how are you preparing for it? Well, you know, I've been very fortunate. It's the timing of things, really. You know, after now being out of the NASCAR thing for a year, year and a half, moved out to Arizona. I put some feelers out to a lot of guys that I'd like to get involved in off-road again. Fortunate enough to go down and do the Nora 1000, which gave me a lot of experience actually in Baja, in Mexico, running those roads. We had a blast, went out, won our class, finished third overall. But being able to get back into the desert is, it kind of feels like home. You know, although there's a big span of me being in Charlotte and doing the NASCAR thing, you know, off-road's always been my roots. That's kind of how I got my experience growing up. My dad did it for years. There's been a gap, but it's funny, now that I'm right back doing it again, I feel like I've never left. You know, I mean, we've picked up right where I left off. You know, driving a trophy truck is, is super exciting. All right, so knowing how successful your dad has been at Baja, he still does off-road racing. So yeah. what, what, how's that relationship and how's he helping you for the Baja 1000? The one thing I can say, that this is probably the, one of the most rewarding things, honestly, throughout my whole career. When I went down there for the Nora 1000, my dad, ended up chasing me all the way down. And it was funny because we had, the Nora 1000 is unique in that it's like a five day event and every night you can kind of, you know, you go have a little dinner and you rest up and you race the next day. It's kind of a rally experience. Well, I did it with my dad. And I remember every night us grabbing a bite to eat or just talking about things. And I was learning so much from him and not knowing it just throughout that whole event. You know, 
how to look for things. Hey, if you're, you're coming up on something and it starts looking a little green, you might be coming up on some water. You know, if, if you're coming into a corner and it looks like it's a little bit chewed up, guys are probably hard on the brakes. So it's probably a tight corner. You know, he's, he's giving me all these little insights to look for that he's done for, you know, 50 years out in the desert. And that's one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to in this Baja 1000 is that I get to do it with my dad. Yeah. You know, he's, he's spending a lot of time down there now, lives in Baja almost full time. For him to be alongside me as I do something that he did for years is something that's gonna be really special. Yeah, I mean, that experience is gonna be invaluable. And I love how things come full circle. Your dad doing these races like the Baja 1000, mm -hmm. and now you get to have that experience with him at this stage in, in your life, that's so cool. It is super cool. And I remember feeling a little bit incomplete in the off-road thing because I, I'm very fortunate that I did you know, off-road stuff early in my career. It went pretty quickly to open wheel racing, you know, got into stock car racing. It just all happened so fast. And it was off-road, it was always something that I loved. I just went a completely different direction. So to be able to come back now and do some of the things that my dad did and really some of the things that I wanted to do, uh, a long time ago and just ended up not having time for because I went a different direction is really special and I really appreciate the opportunity to be honest. I mean to be able to, to run with a top-notch group like Geyser Brothers and have a company like Exalta you know, behind the program is, is huge. Well best of luck buddy. Yeah, Looking man. forward to watching. Thank you. Have fun. Yeah good to see you. We've still got quite a few great stories to tell so make sure to follow Exalta Racing on social media to see when the next installment of Casey's Interview airs.